Welcome to the 12th episode of Hot Boxing Talk, South Africa's very own online boxing talk show. Hayden Jones, Cyril LeHong, Clinton Futterberg, Gary Sweeney. If those names mean anything to you, then you better stay tuned and watch the 12th episode of Hot Boxing Talk. Sports journalist and boxing lover. Happens to be one of my best friends. I'm talking about Clinton Futterberg. He came into the Hot Box Gym and Hot Boxing Talk caught up with him. So finally, one of my best friends joins us on the Hot Boxing Talk, Clinton van der Berg. Uh, welcome to an initiative that Hayden and I started about close to three months ago. You're a big boxing fan. We won't talk about the rugby so much because, as you know, I know nothing about it. But I wanted to bring you in and I wanted to talk to you about the state of South African boxing, your opinion. Well, Colin, I want to know from you why it's taken so long to get on your show. <laughs> I'm a big fan, so it's, it's great to be here. Uh, state of boxing, I think you would know better than anyone. Uh, boxing's been through some quite troubled times. Uh, having said that, I'm quite encouraged, uh, you know, going out to the provinces, meeting different people. Uh, boxing has this great ability to just to get by. It makes a plan because there's lots of good people involved. So I'm, I'm encouraged by that. And there, there are still a couple of good people involved at the higher levels uh, trying to get it back to what it was. Clinton, I mean, you've been down to East London. It's like one of the makers of South African boxing. What do you think needs to be done in order to improve the shows, maybe get the crowds more, more enthusiastic? Um, you know, like this, this weekend we've got Nomevin, we've got Zolani Teti fighting on Super Sports. Um, the Orient's going to be packed, there's no question. That's mm. Friday night. But in terms of like the other fights, like we had Jasper Soroki fighting Chris Sabia, the tournament wasn't so, so well attended. Those kind of scenarios, what do you think the answer is? I think the answer, and a couple of fighters have got it right, but I think guys have to take on board the fact that you have to be a self-marketer. You know, you, you've got to get out there, you've got to sell tickets, you've got to get into papers, you've got to have some shtick. You really have to do it. And, and you know, uh, probably 90% of our fighters would walk down the street and go unrecognized. And that's different from the old days, where the newspapers had a great appetite for boxing. But now I think guys, you know, you've got social media, which is free. You know, guys are going to get smart with social media. Guys have got to, you know, be queuing up and saying, I want to get onto hot boxing talk, that kind of thing. And essentially, you can't sit back and wait for somebody to, to do it for you. You've got to make it happen. I'm going to put you on the spot, and I know you're a big boxing fan too. Lorena Muller too has been announced. I'm going to ask you who wins and why. Uh, listen, it's a, it's a great fight. Really looking forward to it. The first fight was a candidate for fight of the year. Um, I think Johnny would have been quite damaged last weekend lose, losing to Usyk. I think it's going to not only damage him physically, but I think mentally that would be a, a, a heck of a blow, getting stopped quite early in the fight. Uh, Lorena's the youngster. He's the guy who's coming of age. He himself admits he wasn't right the first fight. And... I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I think I'd probably sway towards Lorena because I think the a guy whose game is still developing. Johnny, we've seen the best that Johnny can do. Lorena, potentially not. In the first fight, who did you back? Uh, I got a draw. So did yeah. I. Yeah, I got a draw. I thought I thought Kevin was going to smoke him in you know nine or ten rounds. Myself, myself. A message for the hot boxing fans. Yeah, just just keep watching. Uh, it's a it's a great program. Terrific content. Um, and you know, as long as you, uh, you love boxing, uh, keep watching. My best friend, Clinton Van Berg, speaking to us right here on Hot Boxing Talk. You know what time it is. It's a little empty here. Looking for Hayden and Cyril. Well, we had our weekly boxing chat with them right after this. Hi, Michael the Storm Sweeney, brother to Gary the Gallant Sweeney. Fights, Gary fights September 19th. Looking forward to it. It's going to be an explosive night. You're watching Hot Boxing Talk. It's got to that point in the show where I don't even have to introduce these two guys anymore. So I'm going to start by saying, last week, Johnny Muller got stopped in three rounds against Usak. Hayden, let me start with you. Are you surprised? No, I thought Johnny was going to get stopped early. Cyril? Sure. Um, I thought Johnny would maybe last a bit longer, but... Okay, so Abner Marius and Leo Santa Cruz put on probably one of the best fights I've seen this year. The question that I'm going to ask you two gentlemen, you know, I took a knock at the WBC for having a championship called the Diamond Belt, but was there a belt even necessary for this fight? Oh, it's a Diamond Belt. It's, uh, I don't know if it, if it has much significance, but it, it's, it sounds nice. I suppose. What do you think? I don't think it really means anything. You know, I always believe um, champions make the title. Absolutely. So, it, I don't think 
Well, look, it was a great fight with or without the belt, so... So let's go back a step. Uh, Johnny Miller lost in three rounds against Usak. It's been announced on Golden Gloves that there's a rematch with Kevin Arena for December. So it's Arena Muller 2. I'm going to put you gentlemen on the spot and say, Cyril, who wins and why? I'm, I'm caught in the middle on this one. The last time around, I thought Kevin would win it and I was wrong. Uh, I don't know. Eh? Um, I, th I still think Johnny, you know, he, I mean, after fighting Usyk... Usyk was is like is a is a top top fighter and but against Kevin you don't really know it's still it's still gonna be I think it's gonna be a really good fight either way. Hayden Jones, who's your pick and why? I'll go with I'll go with Kevin simply because he is riding a wave of success and Johnny has just come off a devastating result. I mean Usyk is world class, but at this in the same breath he's he's coming off a loss so. Okay, let's get back to the local flavor and keep it local. Chris Sabio, I thought was a little unlucky against Jasper Soroka. Your thoughts? Totally agree. I think, I think he, he, he aged the fight and yeah, Jasper Soroka was lucky to get the decision. So this Friday we have the return at the Orient Theatre with Molasani Nomevan Dongeni and Zolani Teti. Very exciting for us, speci specifically because Nomeva trains at the Hotbox Gym. Yeah, and, and Zolani Tete back on home ground as well. Just coming off that... that Magnificent victory over Paul Butler. He didn't stand a chance against Solani Tete. It's billed as the return, and you can catch on Super Sport. Hayden Cyril, my name's Colin, Nomaganjani Nathan, and this is the Hot Boxing Talk. He had over 300 amateur fights. He goes by the nickname of The Gallant. I'm talking about Irish fighter who makes his debut on the 19th of September, Gary Sweeney. Recently signed by Golden Gloves and trained by yours truly right here at the Hot Boxing Gym. Hot Boxing Talk caught up with him ahead of his fight on the 19th of September. So Gary the Gallant Sweeney joins us here on the Hot Boxing Talk. Gary, first and foremost, welcome to South Africa again. This is your second time to Africa. Thank you. Um, I, you know, I'm very privileged to be your trainer for the 19th of September. Uh, you've had 300 amateur fights. Um, your first professional fight here in South Africa. Tell us about how you're feeling right now and how this deal came about with Golden Gloves. Uh, well, I've, I've actually, at the moment, I feel good. I'm looking forward to the fight. And... The thing with Kevin Golden Gloves, the brother contacted him and he got the deal going with me and Rodney Berman. So you've had 300 amateur fights, it's, 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 a, it's a ton of fights. You know, most amateur fighters turn pro after 40 or 50, 60 fights. 300 amateur fights, just maybe tell the viewers, when did you start boxing? You're 21 years old, when did you start boxing? I started boxing when I was 10 and I had a lot of fights that wasn't on my boxing card. I was just kind of fighting nearly every weekend when I was young. And kept going for a while and kept getting fights. Irish guys are known to be tough. I've had the privilege, like I said, of training you. Your defense is really good. You don't take a lot of punches. Um, tell us about that whole stigma of Irish guys being tough and you know being able to take a shot and etc. etc. I don't know. Everyone says Irish stuff. They love fighting. <laughs> and what I reckon I can take a good shot. But I got hit a few times, took a few shots. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. You can lie and then be honest. Do you drink Irish beer? Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay, now no, no, be honest. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. Okay, so, so tell me your highlights of your 300 amateur fights. Well, the highlight was the senior, national senior championship, where I won that when I was 19. That's the biggest thing you can win in Ireland. Okay, you also were a silver medalist of the European Youth yeah. Championships. How did, tell us about that. Um, I had uh, four fights in it. I boxed the Georgian. Uh, Ukraine in my first fight, then a Georgian, then a boxed uh, Latvian, then a boxed previous before this in Russia and I beat him by a pint but this one I was losing going into the last round by two points but being Irish and tough I just <laughs> dug deep and what, what can fans expect from you on the 19th of September? It's quite a big bull for South African boxing you're fighting on the undercard of St. Piri Konko and Heki Baden who's a teammate of yours what can the fans expect from you? An explosive night 
There you have it, the gallant Gary Sweeney talking to us right here on Hot Boxing Talk. Well, the 12th episode of Hot Boxing Talk comes to an end from myself, Colin, Nomagan Johnny, Nathan, and Hayden Jones. Hey, did you have a sex change? No, and Hayden Jones. And we'll see you again next week. <laughs> <laughs>